time or whatever, you know? Yeah, so they're getting fucking paid like welfare and they're fucking, they're sending it all back to fucking those shit old countries. Like Every penny they get uh, from our state, uh, whether it be child allowance, uh, doll or any fuel allowance or any of that, uh, rent allowance or anything, is going straight out of our country. Straight out. Yeah. 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 Every fucking penny. So, <laughs> you know, when the... <sighs> I, I, it's hard. It's hard to fathom that the government actually cannot realise that that's happening, and it's been happening for a longer time than the last couple of years. It's been happening for fucking twenty five, thirty years. That every penny that these guys get goes straight out of our country. Yeah, you know, you know it, it just it's gone. It's gone. So there's no balance. There's absolutely no balance there. You know, and it's it, it it frustrates the life of me that these guys in in Leinster House cannot see that they probably can, and they're just ignoring it and making up the de- deficit with you know tax that they're lashing us over with on the weekly. Um, yeah, it, 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 you know what? That's probably not. I'm saying probably it's it's, it's not a probably. It's a definite. But you know, it's that's what's been happening. But it's happening like. A thousandfold now in the last couple of years than it was uh, 20 years ago, 15, 10, 5 years ago. The last couple of years it's happened a thousandfold now. And that I money just, no, I think 20 years ago, whatever, like they integrated. When they come over, they integrated. But like in the last like 10 years, they're not integrating at all. Oh, no, 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 they're just using the system. There was a certain there was a certain demographic that did integrate, but if you if you look at it over the last twenty twenty five years, the Romanian the Roma gypsies that come over, oh, here, the they did gypsies. not they did not integrate, and they were the first ones that I don't know if this is statistically fucking true, but to my eyes, from walking around the city center for a long time, they were the first ones to start hitting our city centre and our, our country and our uh, county. And they were the ones that were starting to leech off our system and send the money directly out. And they were fucking robbing us blind. And I'm talking physically as well, because they're still doing it now, pickpocket and everything. They're the main culprits for that one now. But uh, I suppose as time went on, then... Africans start coming over and the Indians and the uh, Chinese are spot the Chinese come over they work whatever but Indians Pakistanis but they're just absolutely sucking our wealth dry and fucking out of the country and it's you know uh, sh- sh- hard to replenish the videos of fucking the Romanians beggars out there whatever and they're all been picked up in Mercs at the end of the day like you know yeah, I, I don't think that happens to all of them, but majority of them, it, look, it, it doesn't matter if they're being picked up in Mercs or, or, or Minis or walking home. They're all still shoplifting. They're all still robbing people, pickpocketing, leeching off the state. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. The Rome gypsies are the worst leeches. They're like locusts. Them, them lot descended on us 20, 25 years ago and just you know, ripped us apart, and whatever else has happened since then, uh, I know it's, uh, it, we have this whole immigration thing at the moment, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. As, you know. well, as bad as they are, like, fucking having Islam ideology come into the country is way worse than the fucking Roma gypsies. Yeah, well, give it five years, give it five, ten years, maybe, and, you know, you've seen You've seen the videos yourself of towns in England looting and places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's uh, come here. Listen, there, it's it's gonna happen here, uh, and there's no stopping it now. It's too late. It's too late to stop it. I, I I used to think Tommy Robinson was the worst person on earth, the biggest racist on earth, until I started watching his fucking videos. Like, come here. I've been watching Tommy Robinson for about six, seven years. Yeah. And, 
not that I've ever supported him, but I've been monitoring what he's been doing, and I've agreed what he's been doing. And this is this is even before COVID hit. I've been watching his uh, videos about uh, the stuff he's been doing about um, um, uh, Muslim uh, grooming gangs in Luton and, and, and yeah, yeah. places in, in in the UK. And I swear to God, I I I, I can't. He that lad right now. I'm not. A, I'm not a staunch Tommy Robinson. I don't go out with Tommy Robinson flags, blah blah. blah. But I support everything he does for uh, personally from a, a, an inside point of view. And uh, I swear to God, uh, everything he has said that has been going on, they're actually like they're admitting out that the corruption in England in the police forces that that uh, yeah. you know when it, the corruption and everything, it's it's all fucking it's true. And and that they've tried. Oh, I'm surprised that lad is still alive. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. They put him on a Muslim wing when they put him in prison, hoping that he'd be murdered. Yeah, I know he, that. Yeah, he avoided it. And but, you know what? I'm shocked he's still alive. And to be honest with you, everything the chap has said in the past, and people are like, are like, oh, you're a racist, you're this, and you're that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that. Exactly. Like, I thought he was, like, the biggest racist on earth, like. No, he did, you know. And he's, he's not, been, he's not at all, like. He's been saying it from day one. He has more. He, he's been trying to protect the fucking English people. Yeah. Do you know, you know the whole reason, the, 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 the whole reason he started the EVL at the start, I suppose. But look, his daughter was abused. There's some... Some guy touched his daughter in, in a swimming pool or so, a swimming pool locker room or something. She grabbed her bum or something like that when she was young. And he actually complained about it. He rang the police about it. He, he, he got everybody involved in the whole lot. And he was actually arrested and remanded in custody. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with that situation? The, the chap that actually touched his daughter walked away. And he was um, uh, uh, apparently... Now, don't quote me on this, but apparently he was one of the uh, uh, grooming gangs that he he done an expose on at the time. And that was a good few years ago. So, listen, everything everything he's been talking about um, has been happening. The corruption in the police, the you know, and he done them a uh, couple of uh, long videos. I think they're an hour and a half each long. I think just two of them. The rape. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them. Uh, yeah, I did. I watched both of them. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, now. Very good. Uh, one about like um this suppose the Syrian fucking immigrant that came over and he was about fourteen or fifteen and just showed like a guy punching him out like yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. What they didn't? And then it went more wide like about like how racist the whole fucking English were. Yeah. And then he went and he fucking, he went and he interviewed all the, like, the principal of the school, the teachers, everyone like that. And they were all paid off, like. Yeah, and victims. Well. Like. Victims, victims as well. And he went, he went, he went, he went to a hell of a lot of fucking um, effort. Yeah. Uh, for those documentaries. And do you know something? It's an eye opener because... Um, what's happening over there is happening over here. Do you know what I mean? It's it really happening over here. Quick yeah. enough, like. Yeah. But, you know what I think? That's going to wake up the country. If some fucking Syrian or whatever will drive a truck down fucking, not O'Connor Street, but Grafton Street or whatever, kill about 50 people, like. But sure, didn't a chap drive a fucking car down Henry Street a few years ago? Good, about seven or eight years ago. Uh, from no. that. Yeah, yeah, and what's happened to the priest? Like, the, the guy that was, was stabbed the priest and oh, whatever. Yeah. You don't hear nothing about that anymore. Nah, of course you don't. Of course you fucking don't. Sure, it's buried. Stuff like that's buried. You know what I mean? If it was, if it was me or you... Or a, a, an average Joe, fucking Irish person or an English person that done something like that, It'd be headlined yeah. weeks, months. Yeah, yeah. You know, they'd follow your every movement, even when you were fucking convicted and locked up. They'd follow your every fucking 
day movement in, in, in jail, you know. Yeah. Getting on and blah, blah, blah. Look at, you know. Uh, I, I think that's what, what it's going to take to actually fucking derive up the ordinary Irish man. Yeah, probably, hopefully not. I don't want to see anybody getting fucking hurt, but, you know, it probably will take something like that for people to say, hold on a minute, enough's enough. Um, no, I think... Look, at, I think it would be an absolutely terrible thing to happen. But, like, if it's for the greater good, we'll let it be. That's the way I think about it. Because we have to stop this shit now before it fucking... Before we're completely invested with these motherfuckers. 